Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to a little more 7 Days to Die Alpha 12. In the last episode, I was, well, basically checking out this little cabin here through a fireplace down, fire pit, campfire. Basically threw some stuff in here, actually threw some more stuff in there too. And more or less put a sleeping bag down so I could kind of make some use out of this place. Now let's address the elephant in the room, which is this partially destroyed block. I need to get rid of that. I had some zombies visit me in the middle of the night, and one of them was kind enough to give me a sniper rifle schematic. I am not joking. This is 100% true, absolutely legitimate. It was just one of the random female zombies that has the blue dress on. I kind of laughed when I saw it because I thought, yeah, right. But no, sure enough, it was a sniper rifle schematic. Never had that happen before, but there you go. Let's go ahead and craft a fire axe. As you can see, I do have some iron ingots. That is a crummy one. I think I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to do one more since I have a couple more ingots, and with any luck, I'll get an orange one. Ah, man. That one is garbage. I'm just going to go ahead and break it down right now. Now, something I wanted to do, and let's see, arrow, iron arrowhead mold. Let's go ahead and do that. Great, it already populated the fields for me. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that guy, and you know what? Hmm. Since I can, let's go ahead and... Nope, let's see. There we go. We'll do that. No, does that not work? How do I do a steel arrowhead mold? I need to find an actual steel arrowhead. We cannot craft those down, huh? Okay, good to know. This is my first time playing around with those, so that's kind of new to me. Let's go ahead and drop off a little bit more stuff here. I'm going to hold on to you. I'm not going to get rid of those guys. I'm just going to keep my regular arrows, since those have been buffed a little bit. I kind of feel okay carrying them around. Now, overnight, I did also... Sorry, I'm just taking a look at where I put everything just to make sure I'm okay did also cook up some water, so I'm feeling a little better about my water situation now. Man, that really just bums me out. I know, I didn't need to do that. Here I've been good and right-clicked some things and others. Nope. Go figure. Where is my hunting rifle? You are down there, so I'm actually going to drop my shotgun off. I should probably keep track of all my parts first. I have not done that, so here, let me take a moment right quick just so I can do this. I'm just going to go ahead and say that was weird. I actually had to dismantle it. I couldn't see the quality of the parts, and yet I could have sworn I could see the quality of the parts before, so I'm not sure what I did wrong there. I'm going to leave the flashlight for now. That's a pretty crummy one, just because I would like to find a better one before I actually commit it to anything. You know what? Here, let's go ahead and we'll just repair this. Oh, man. That uses all of them. That's all right. Not a big fan of the hunting rifle, but it has actually served me pretty well so far, so I probably shouldn't give it too much grief. And then let's just go ahead and we'll do... Hmm, I don't have any feathers, huh? What did I do with those? I know I picked some up somewhere. Did I put them down? Have I lost my feathers? Apparently I have. I don't know where they went. Well, that's really unfortunate. Let's give this crummy axe a whirl here and see if it's actually any better than my equally crummy... Well, I guess it's actually not equally crummy, but my crummy wooden axe. Oh, man, this thing is garbage. Really? Uh, you know what? I refuse. That thing is garbage. I would rather deal with the stone axe at at least... I has a reason for being garbage because it's a stone axe. But that thing, not so much. Other than apparently I'm a terrible crafter and random number generator hates me, even though it did give me a sniper rifle schematic. I mean, that is kind of a tease more than anything else. Day six, let's talk about what we have going on for this episode and what to expect. I am infected still. In fact, here, let's take a look at that. This may be the death of me. I have said I don't intend to die, but, you know, there's only so much you can do when you're infected. I might not intend to die, but that doesn't really mean anything. I might not intend to die, but that doesn't mean I will not. I'm going to go check out... Let's go check out one of these paths. Since the last time I did this, it was 
a complete waste of time and was incredibly frustrating, it seems like I should go ahead and do it again. And I'm going to beer up for this just because, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Now I did repair my knife back to 100% as you can see, just take a quick look. That does 14.47 damage, that's not bad. So a little over an old school modem, not too shabby. Now I suppose just because I can and because it's actually not too terrible of quality, let's go ahead and repair this guy. That was something that was added with the 12.1 patch, you can now repair your bow with some sticks. It's funny because I was, ah oh, really? Um, okay. Wow, these paths are not making me happy. I get it. That little pond is considered a point of interest. It did lead me to it, but it's a kind of crummy one if I'm just going to be honest here. I would rather have a building because I don't really need a pond. I mean, I, I guess if I had a bucket, then yes, I could scoop some water out of it and take that with me and maybe get some better use out of it, make my own little sort of uh, well or something along those lines, but I don't, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to take that glass either. I know I could I could take it and get some use out of it. That looks like a new campsite. Now, I should probably mention, since I just saw those zombies pop into existence here, I got tired of them just spawning on me, so I put in the old hack that changes their spawn radius, so they no longer spawn right on top of me, theoretically. Nope, you know what? I put in that hack, but I forgot. I have since downloaded, oh, nurse, the 12.1 update, so that completely invalidated what I did. That's good, because that means, while it was working for the brief moment it was in there, now it's not, probably. Ah, oh, that was terrible. You know, one of the things that 12.1 addressed, too, and I haven't really even talked about all this stuff, I figured if you really want to know, you'll go look, because there's more than I am even interested in trying to talk about. But there was a problem with the hitboxes on the zombies, such that arrows were going right through their throat. And I could have sworn I had some issues with something along those lines. But, I mean, you never know, right? It might be your imagination, it might actually be that, yeah, there really is a problem, so... Never know. Go ahead and do this. Hi, nurse. If you'd like to go ahead and give me some meds, I would appreciate that, because... Ah, oh, man. I I am slowly dying here, and... Nope. Use. I'm not used to looking on the right-click menu to find out where you interact with stuff. That keeps things interesting. Here, let's go ahead and... Nope. Got the wrong one. I was actually aiming for that guy. There we go. Get rid of him. Nurse. That should be... Oh. Hey, big guy. Let's go and get rid of you. Sure. Why not? Oh, you're going to take three, are you? Okay. I can deal with that. You're going to take four, are you? Good. You're going to take four. Great. Glad we got that figured out now. And I really need some additional arrows. That was a good one there. I didn't even really pull back on the bow that time. I'll go ahead and take the blood draw kit now that I have some room. I'm actually carrying some additional stuff I don't really need. Like, I could have dropped off that animal fat. I... Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take that, too. I can always run back to the cabin right quick. That won't take long to do that and drop some of this stuff off. Oh, let's go ahead and switch weapons there. Save an arrow. Try to, anyway. Okay. Now, I was trying to check out this campsite. I should also say it is day six. That means it is another airdrop day. I am playing on standard settings, so I have not turned off airdrops for this game. I've not found one yet. I would say the chances of me finding one are much better this time around than last time, because last time I was kind of in the middle of looting a store and, you know, was busy. And it was deemed by me that, hmm, pistol parts, hunting rifle parts, quality two. I'll go ahead and take the pistol part, sure, why not? And I'll take that just because that could be helpful. can break that down into free scrap. Um, oh, hello. Oh, that's interesting. I just now noticed, and I'm sure it's been there for a while, that the ammo icon for the bow is 762. That is kind of funky. I don't remember seeing that before. Could have been there all along and I just don't remember. But that probably isn't intentional, huh? I would imagine there's supposed to be a regular 
arrow icon there. I know, that was a little low. Oh, no, it wasn't, actually. It was a good shot. No? Day four. Day seven. Aha. Day seven should be airdrop, not day six. I can do math. One plus three. Plus three again. There we go. So let's just go ahead and loot these guys right quick so I can get out of here. Uh, I've already checked you. Let's go ahead and check you out. Oh, I bet I missed a backpack in the other campsite, didn't I? Stock of 90. That is actually one point better than the one I have. I'm not going to take it because it's only one point. It's not going to be worth my time. Magnum cylinder and duct tape. I've already dumped some magnum stuff. I mean, I just, I didn't have space to deal with it. So, eh, you know, what can you do? Go and check the trash, though. It is still early game. Definitely worthwhile to check this stuff. So I can do... 5 plus 1, that'll give me a nice number there. And I don't know if that will give me... Aha! I thought those were 3, so they're 2.5. That's just about enough for another ingot. That's kind of handy there. And I perhaps could have waited, but sure, let's go ahead and eat a can of soup. Why not? And I'm not going to do anything with that one yet. I'm not ready to do that. Pistol parts. Yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Here's someone nearby. Oh, crud! That's who's nearby. We have a dog horde coming in. Great. Okay, I can do it. I can do this. I'm running him in a nice circle here. Because I need to switch weapons. And... Oh, man. I think that might have actually killed one. I don't know. Okay. How you guys doing? I, I would like some a little more level ground. You are getting a little too close for comfort there, buddy. Problem I have, of course, is I can't run indefinitely, thanks to lovely, lovely... Oh, hello! More dogs coming in. Not thanks to lovely more dogs coming in, thanks to my lovely infection. Here we go, now I'm on the road. Now we're on my turf, boys. Yeah, I can plink arrows at you all day until I run out of arrows, which is not far away, unfortunately. That was a terrible shot. Let's try that again. There we go. That one at least hit it. That one, I think, should have been a face shot. Okay. I'm going to switch to my knife for just a moment here. And do some manual dog slaying. Oh. That was a bad one. There we go. Let's go ahead and use that. Okay. Bandage up. And let's go ahead and skin these guys while I can. I'm not convinced those are the only dogs I'm going to have, but I might get lucky. You never know. We'll go ahead and use that. Really hesitant to use that, even though I just seem to click without even thinking about it. But I really am hesitant to use it just because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up dying of this infection. I mean, let's take a look. Where are you at now? 7.6 game hours until it hits stage 2. That means I'll be at a stage two somewhere around midnight, I think, because I swear that is not game hours in terms of, like, six actual game hours. It, it seems to take a little more time than that, but, ah, uh, you know, what can you do? Let's go ahead and check this trash right quick, grab more duct tape. I'm going to hit this campsite again, just because I think I missed a backpack in here. Now, I'm not expecting to find antibiotics in here, but there might be something else useful. It's early game enough that I kind of feel like it's worth spending a little time backtracking. Maybe it's not. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but I feel like there is some value to it, so, you know, why not? Okay, so it would have been in here, and it would be right in this corner. Yep. Wasn't really worth it. Although, you know what? Here, let's just go ahead and take it anyway. I know, I I actually left some stuff, so maybe this isn't the most uh, sensical thing, because I should have broken down some other stuff that I just left behind. Go ahead and take you. I didn't check you. How did that happen? Sure, we'll take the blue. Why not? Did I check this trash? I did. Hello there, stag. Let's go ahead and run up the path, though. Let's just follow this back a little bit. I did want to kind of check this out and... You know, I've got some time, why not? Go ahead and eat another sham here. I know, I could have put that on the knife, but just in case I need to switch to it quickly because more dogs or something shows up. 
That's why I didn't do that. And I suppose if I were smart, I would have right-clicked it. Ah, man. One of these days I'll get used to that menu. I say that every episode, don't I? I do mean it. One of these days I will actually use it. Just not today, apparently. So this looks like it's going up into the hills a little bit. I don't think we're s switching biomes. We could be. I don't think we are, though. Take a quick look here. Tomorrow will be the day seven horde. I am horribly unprepared, which means I'll be totally fine. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm being sarcastic about that or not. If I'm still infected, I'm not going to be fine. If I'm not infected, then I will be fine. So there's the pond that this led to. And yeah, it sure was a biome switch. There we go. One of the changes was bird's nests in the snowy biome. So I'm just taking a quick look right quick. Quick look right quick. Wow, how's that for English for you? Wow, how was that English for you? Even better. Pick up some rocks because why not? There's some trash and a couple of stumps. Let's go check those out. It's really hoping to find some nests. Maybe I've already walked by and I missed them just because I'm trying to keep an eye out for everything here. I'm not perhaps paying the closest attention to everything, but it's all right. I'll survive. I'm a survivor. Go and take some of that stuff. I know I didn't run back and drop any of this stuff off yet. Could have. I just haven't. It's all right though. There's a nest. Let's go ahead and take three feathers. I swear I had more feathers, and I don't know where they went. They just seemingly vanished on me. It's kind of like um, in the last episode, I chopped some trees down, and hello, lumberjack miss. And I was trying to make some planks, and I believe I moved half of the ones I crafted into my inventory, and the other half fell out, and I lost them because I didn't pay attention to it, and didn't realize, hello, yellow flashlight, let's take that, why not? Didn't realize I dropped them, so what can you do? You just move on, right? Let's go ahead and check this guy out down here. Empty, not so much. All right, going to run back here. I was just kind of poking around, hoping to find feathers, that sort of thing, because I really do need to make some more arrows. And then checking the stumps, because they often have food or painkillers in them. There you go, there's a couple rations. Yeah, okay. Good deal. I know, there's another lumberjack over there, so let's go ahead and run around him. Okay, someone is attacking something up there. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hello. Yeah, see, I need to go put that fix in again. I don't like when they just spawn in front of me like that. That's really super obnoxious. Just doesn't feel right, you know? Like, they shouldn't be able to just pop into existence right in front of you, but... It's all right, you know. Till I change that, got to work with it. I don't feel like that's a cheat, changing it so they don't spawn right on top of you. That other things, yeah, that one doesn't feel like a cheat to me. That feels like a fix. It was this kind of lady right here that had the sniper rifle schematic. And she was kind enough to give me level 11. How about that? What do we have? A rock, okay. So I just want to follow this last path here and see where this one goes. Looks like it's winding around a fair bit. There's... That's where it's going to go to, is to another... Nope, that's my luxury cabin. I turned off the path, so I do need to continue to follow it. Good. Good to know. I thought that might have been the case. I love looking like an idiot. It's great. Looks like it's raining a little bit. Getting on into the afternoon here. Looks like the path is going to split up a little bit. A couple different directions here. What do you say? Downstairs or upstairs? Hmm. Let's go upstairs. Maybe I'll be able to see what's going on from over here. Unlikely due to the way draw distance works, but, eh, you know. I actually don't think this is going to be the better way to go. So I just want to get rid of it. Yeah, where did you... You dumped me off at another pond. I figured it would be something like that, just not for any specific reason other than that seemed to be my luck. So that one is rejoining the road right there. Okay. So I guess at this point, 
I need to still find some antibiotics. Let's just see how my infection is doing. 4.4 game hours. I don't think it's an instant death at level 2. But it will be a death not too long from now, unfortunately. Unless I get lucky enough here to maybe get some antibiotics off of her. Or stumble upon some somewhere. I have gunpowder. Doesn't do me any good. Don't have any potassium nitrate. That's what I need. And I don't have moldy bread. So, you know, not doing too great here. I'm actually just going to leave that alone. I didn't need to start a fight with him. But I will call it an episode right here. Let's go ahead and kill one more nurse before I go. If I can get close enough, that is. Nope, not close enough. There we go. That was a good stab there. Take the vitamins. I don't really need the splint, so I'm not going to worry that I did not pick that up. Vitamins. Use. Okay. There we go. It's not really going to do me any good, but, ah, you know. What can you do? Bit of a cliff right here, so we'll just call it a cliffhanger, so to speak. I think it's turning into what looks like a plains biome, so... I guess at some point, maybe in the immediate future, I need to go down the road a little more and check out some more, at the very least, check out some more of these paths or something, because, yeah, going to be one dead survivor, which seems like a bit of an oxymoron. I don't know. Anyway, I will catch you on that next episode. With any luck, I'll still be alive. And with, well, well, with good luck, I'll still be alive, and with poor luck, I won't. We'll find out which it is on the next one, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. See you later.